What is your best my friend is dating a terrible person and nobody can get through to them story. They got together and she immediately took over his house which she began referring to as her house. He would come home and find out that she had her father over and they two would actually remodel portions of the house without even letting him know. Dude was a commercial artist. So he had a small office studio in one of the unused bedrooms. While he was at work. Her and her dad took everything out of his office studio. Moved it to the basement and then moved the washer and dryer to that room. Then. Apparently. Realized that there were no ducts for the dryer and they needed some 220 outlets installed so she called him at work pissed that his house sucked and he needed to get an electrician over there asap to fix this. Which he did paying the emergency rate. Was hoping he'd see the light. Unfortunately he did. But only after two kids and her forcing him to quit his good job with benefits. I watched my best friend's wife, thankfully now ex, systematically dismantle him. It was horrible to watch. I was vocal about how much it bothered me and it drove a wedge between us and some years passed where we didn't speak to each other. We have since reconnected and she is out of the picture. It was hard hearing him say dude you were the only one who told me it was a bad idea and I pushed you away but I'm glad he saw the light. He cheated on her multiple times. He was emotionally and physically abusive and he slowly turned her into an insecure. Crazy bitch. She once slapped me because we were in a club and he said something to me and I responded but because it was loud I had to talk in his ear and she thought I kissed him. She moved countries for him. Allowed him to live rent free while doing nothing meanwhile she was working two jobs to support them he debraked tea in the house whenever they got in a fight. He brought girls back to her place and f them in her bed and sent her pictures while she s at work they got pregnant and she got an abortion but he didn't go with her or support her emotionally or financially after the abortion when they fight he tell her she was a murderer and killed his baby. They're still together. 10 year week. Typical toxic relationship right up to the point of f king other girls and sending her pictures. That is insane. Who could possibly stay after that? They broke up and got back together 11 times. That's not just an arbitrary number I pulled out of my ass. I was keeping count and it finally ended with breakup number 12 when she took a trip without inviting him or telling him she was going. And posted a bunch of pics to Instagram of her with the guy she was cheating on my friend with. This might not be what this thread is looking for. But in this case the friend was me. My ex-wife would invite a couple of her friends over once a week for dinner. Whatever else she was. She was an excellent cook. She was also sleeping with at least three other guys. And carrying on an online affair. I suspect her one friend knew about it. And tried to tell me about it over dinner on more than one occasion. She explained that she had a friend who was getting married. But her fiancé didn't know that she was cheating on him all the time. With a bunch of different guys. And I would say. Well why don't you tell him? And she would go. It's. Complicated. I know him well enough. But she's been my friend for years and I don't want to alienate that friendship. It was a recurring topic of conversation at weekly dinner. We were divorced by the time I realized she was talking about me. Girl I knew got knocked up by this dude who had a knack for catching assault charges and getting sent to jail and or prison. Despite his violent behavior. Even toward family members, though not as violent as his full-fledged assaults. She was adamant about marrying him. Apparently. He wanted her to drop out of college and be a stay-at-home mom that he supported. Two things there. First. Good luck doing that as a felon in this economy, not impossible. But unlikely. Comma second. Maybe I'm jaded. But to an outsider. That seems like obvious economic manipulation that this guy wanted her to depend on him so he could keep cheating on her and whatnot. After he got released from his latest stint. He cheated on her again and she finally wised up and dumped him. But she still constantly posts conflicting stuff on social media about how she loves him but also hates him. Dude was clearly bad news from the beginning. She seems to be doing fine as a single mom with family support. And pretty much everybody could see the writing on the wall except for her. Soon after getting together. She moved into his apartment. She turned his spare bedroom office into her music room. 
Next she turned his garage into her yoga studio. She never did yoga. She preferred his car but won't let him drive hers. Meaning there were many nights where he was suck at home while she was out with her friends. She controlled his drinking. The few times he was out he was allowed one drink, which he usually drank. While she got totally rat faced. She often stayed over at other guy friends houses cause it's too late to drive home. She planned an elaborate holiday trip. Which he paid for. To visit her ex. Relationship lasted a little under a year before she broke up with him. Because he turned 36 and she only dates guys who are 35. Damn she swiped him like a no limit platinum credit card. That thing must have been good or something. Jesus this is a horrible story. F for that year of our man's time and money. My sister in law dated this high school dropout pothead townie forever. In fairness. They started dating in middle school and we're on again off again for years. No one. Even her parents. Could understand what she saw in this guy who had no background. No ambition. And no discernible good qualities. He was just the local neighbor kid who started creeping on my sister-in-law when they were young and would never go away. She just kept telling us we don't see what she sees in him. I roll. Eventually we just accepted that nothing we said was going to change her mind. And after a decade or so we got to know him and realized that he absolutely loved her with his whole heart and would do anything for her. He was actually really handy with a strong work ethic. He's great with kids. And will be a great dad. Turns out. He realized early on that he loved her and it's actually a boy meets girl hometown romance. She saw all this in him the whole time and we never really looked past the surface. They finally got married a few weeks ago and I couldn't be happier to call him my brother-in-law. We had one friend in our group. Who was this introverted but sweet guy? He hooked up with a girl we called a troll. I don't quite know what he saw in her. Maybe he was just lonely, but she was unattractive. Unpleasant. Unintelligent, and most importantly. She was terribly domineering. Like she was telling him off and telling him what to in public. I dread to think what it would be like in private. She was also cutting him off from his friends. Especially female ones. They're married with twins now. And none of our friend group are in contact with him anymore. Last I saw he was his engagement party. There was this guy who kept contacting me trying to get me to sleep with him even though he had a long term girlfriend. I told him to fck off but he wouldn't. I saw he had his girlfriend on his Facebook so I decided to send her a message to tell her what he was doing. Now me and his girlfriend aren't friends but I know her. She absolutely lost her shti on me and started threatening to come to my house and beat me. I noped right out of that situation and never spoke to her again. I guess my plan worked though because I didn't hear from her boyfriend again. Every guy my best friend has dated. First serious guy cheated on her. Threatened her plus their babies with a gun driving into a wall. Ultimately killed himself. Next guy. The kids loved as a father figure. But he regularly told her he didn't want to be their dad. He just needed a place to stay and he removed every picture of the kid's dad. He broke up with her and moved out. And she still begged him for months. There have been a few dudes since. And they're all trash in one way or another. I'm at my wits end. My best friend, a goody two shoe, decided it was a fabulous idea to date a guy she met while volunteering with her mom at a local food pantry. He was not a volunteer however. He was putting in his community service hours. I warned her, as I come from the opposite side of life as her, that it wasn't in her best interest and she didn't know what she was getting into. Side note. I don't hate on anyone for being in that situation. There's so much more to this. Just didn't want to over detail it. After 6 stressful months of her luckily avoiding disaster after disaster with this guy. It took her until she was in the middle of a huge drug deal with him, not her first at this point either, for her to wake up and realize what she was actually doing. He asked her to put everything in purse while he sped home and luckily that was her last straw. She ended it with him hours later and I was absolutely thrilled. Not my friend but me. I was dating this girl and she was horrible for me but I was blind to it. 
A few friends told me how different we were but I always defended our relationship. We dated for 3 years. Only after we broke up did I realize how toxic it was. Edit. Thanks for all the texts. This is fun. My best friend and his girlfriend. Him and I have been best friends. Like super close for about 7 years. I've seen him enter and come out of relationships. But the girl he's with now is a total piece of work. Let me try to paint a picture of her. Ultra Christian. She doesn't like gay people. Is an anti-vaxxer. Grew up being California rich. Tries, and fails, to do her makeup like Kylie Jenner. Makes him pay for trips to Disney World at least once a year. Never pays for anything really. Says it's his job to provide for the woman. The type of person to poke holes in condoms to lock him in for life. Just a goblin of a person inside and out. They yell and fight constantly. And are just a horrible match for each other. But at this point. He just thinks it's a sunken cost fallacy. He's put in 4 years already. And is afraid of letting that go to waste. He won't listen to me because I haven't been in a real relationship since we've been friends. That's offensive to goblins. Her new boyfriend was actually pretty charming but he wouldn't attend events that didn't involve alcohol. Events he did attend he would drink until he was loud and slurring his words. He had a bottle of vodka under the seats in his truck and would slip away for a pull from it now and then. He would show up other places dressed nicely and seemingly in control but obviously pre-gamed enough to be two drinks away from loud and slurring. A group supply of alcohol was almost a race so he would get more than his share before anyone else drank it. Everything in his life revolved around drinking. She finally wised up after 6 months. My friend was me. And my father-in-law actually told me when I asked his permission to marry his daughter that he wanted to go have a few beers and really talk about it. I never did that and asked her to marry me. Fast forward to when I caught her in her affair years after our marriage and was talking to her dad about it he said this is why I didn't tell you yes when you asked me if you could marry her. Because we all knew this would happen and you don't deserve it. She cannot have a healthy, truthful relationship with anyone. You are just her latest victim. We are still good buddies. I love the guy. My bandmate started dating this vanguardist Japanese artist and she's insufferable. She even comes to the studio where we do most of our recordings and she always has an opinion about everything. Worst of it all. My mate keeps listening to her and making her opinions his. I'm afraid we're close to the end if things don't change. A pity really. Because the band has been doing well over the past few years. Sorry Paul. Semicolon. My friend dated this very self-righteous woman who could talk about nothing other than social issues and oppression. It wasn't just that she had strong feelings about the topic. It was literally the only thing she would talk about. And the social issues were not limited to LGTB rights or women's issues. Anything that she could get self-righteous about would get her spouting fire and brimstone. Well at one point I'm on a hike with her and my friend when the topic of burgers comes up. She goes oh I have to tell you the burger story. The burger story. It so happens. Involved her cooking burgers for a group and wiping her dirty tampon on some dude's burger when he made vaguely s this joke. I look over at my friend and he's smiling and nodding his head as if to say see how cool and awesome my girlfriend is? Long story short. I made sure to cook my own burgers that afternoon. Misguided friend here chiming in. When I broke up with her. She said I want dumping her due to my white privilege. We're both white. I'm still not sure what she meant by that. One of my high school friends is dating an abusive girl who actually will not let him interact with any other females whatsoever. He's totally aware of his situation too. He thinks he can change her or something. And her dad is a racist cop. So there's that too. Reading this thread to see if my best friend is posting about me and my ex. Friend was incredibly busty to the point where it caused her back problems. She was considering breast reduction. Her boyfriend said no. Solely because boobs. There was this guy. Much in love with a girl he met on a dating site. She was fun. Fun loving. Social. 
but also a bit crazy. Like. Unpredictable. Childish. She was 25 and still sucking her thumb for comfort. So this guy asked her to marry him. She said yes. But his friends were kind of wary of her. Kept hinting that she wasn't really wife material. His dad even told him. One week before the wedding. That it wasn't too late to cancel it all. The event wanted to call it off. The night before. He went through with it though. Even with all these red flags. She could change he thought. I'll help her become more mature. Two weeks after the wedding. He took his groomsmen to lunch. One told him that he never wanted to see his wife again and if it meant losing a great friend. So was it. He'd understand. The other was just nodding. I wasn't the nodding guy. Nor the I don't wanna see your wife guy. I was the husband. Took me two more years to finally understand that I had married a horrible. Self-centered. Immature person. Semicolon. TL. DR. Don't put your dick in crazy. Don't put a ring on crazy. I overheard him saying I could tell her 2 plus 2 equals 5 and I could make her believe it. None of her friends really like him. I had a falling out with most of the people in that group over a different but similar situation. So. I barely see any of them anymore. But I still don't like that guy. I realize I didn't explain that well at all. I love that not only did you not explain the story well. But you made sure to mention that fact. And then not change a damn thing before posting. I was that friend oof. We have all been that friend at some point. I just wanted to hear about these situations from the perspective of the friends. Had a friend date a girl on and off again for close to 10 years. Every time they'd break up. She either cheated on him, or simply got bored of him for someone else. Yet he'd always take her back. Around the 4th or 5th time this happened. We started blaming him not her. The worst however. Was when I left the state for work. Came back a year later. And found out she left him again. The story this time. Was he caught her in a hot tub with another guy. And when confronted. She gave him back the engagement ring he gave her. Dude was crying just telling me this story. Lucky for him. She's in her early 30s and is quickly running out of options. So she went back to him. They seem happy at least. Semicolon. Comma lucky for him. She's in her early 30s and is quickly running out of options. So she went back to him. Comma luckily. It wasn't luck. It was desperation. And she'll keep cheating. Even if they do get married.